what are you writing right now? I have been wanting to write a movie for the longest time. And so I was like, if I had, you know, at the time we thought, what, it was two weeks. <laughs> if I had 65 days to do whatever I wanted to do, what am I going to do? So it's been a little bit of housework, but then this script is like something I've been, I've always wanted to do. And I've written, pretty proud of written 10 pages. I haven't gotten as far as I'd like, but I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of like structure, you know, I'm trying to do the, do it right, but I, I'm terrible at it. What, what's the premise? Can I know the plot? I should tell you, because okay. I want to steal it. <laughs> um, so look at you with all this great stuff, acting, writing, directing. Did you just do a class with Ron Howard? How was that? Oh, I did. I've been, well, because I'm like part of like the Academy of Television and because I'm on the Directors Guild and the SAG Guild, this morning I did one, which was all about the proper way to self-tape for an audition. So I've been watching these like almost like master classes, but the DGA did this thing with How Ron Howard and they just asked him quite, we could ask him questions and he um, responded and uh, like we were basically just there were probably I don't even know maybe a hundred people on it but like everybody's watching Ron Howard just talk to us about giving us his best ideas it was amazing what was the takeaway I mean that's the great Ron Howard the takeaway was I get, I think I'm doing a lot of things right I feel like I like he gave a lot of great information he talked a lot about how he works with actors and I was like okay I feel like that's me because he and I have similar backgrounds so he's always been someone I looked up to you know someone who started in television um worked through television through his childhood and his teen years and then went off to direct and I've always wanted to do that and I'm a little later in life doing it but um you know to hear from him is like and and to hear that like he kind of responds to actors the same way he respects the crew the same way I feel like I do so it was it was it was helpful it was wonderful it was uh um, really amazing to hear from like the king himself. So, and you're directing a great movie coming up on Lifetime, Feliz Navidad, with this dad. Feliz Navidad. Dad. Feliz Navidad. And the dad, dad with this little unknown actor, Mario Lopez. How Mario. is he going to be to direct? Oh gosh, it's going to be a pain <laughs> in the butt. That wig. He's going to talk all about his wig. Don't touch the wig. What about the wig? Leave the wig. No. Um, but this is, yeah, this is our third movie together. Um, and he asked me, he actually, I was in your offices and he corners me in my dressing room. He like comes in and closes the door. I'm like, what's up, Mario? And he's like, I need, I need you to direct my movie. I was like, you got it, dude. Like, that's a huge compliment. So I directed his show, um, The Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia. And, uh, and he was just like, he's like, you've got to, you've got to come, you've got to help me. And I was like, all right, we're shooting in Tahoe. So yeah, as soon as we're allowed, we'll be shooting a movie. <laughs> uh, now, Melissa, I don't know if he told you in the dress room, but he has offered me a role in this movie. I know you and I are going to play his dates. Yes. Okay, good. You, me, oh, and I think his wife, we're all going to be in there. Oh no. And that's the best way to, uh, you know, limit exposure to strangers. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. Keep it in our family, you right? Got, you got to, you got to get your butt up to Tahoe. We're going to have some fun. Uh, good. I can't wait to see you and your husband and the kids. Oh, and speaking of your husband, the beard, how do we feel? We saw the video. You heard the buzzing. Cry. Tell me everything. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to cry. He, it's like I have my, it's like I've missed him for six months. He had this like thing hanging on his face. Right. And I kept like comparing it to like Davy Jones in the Pirates movies, like the octopus, like it was just out of control. It was ridiculous. And, um, and I was like, dude, it's not even like, well, like he's very clean. He's very clean. But I was just like, you know, kissing him. I get like a whisker up my nose. And like, I was like, I can't, I know there's a lot of women out there that like that, but I, I felt like I was kissing my dad's friend, Ned, you know, I was like, this is not the way this was meant to be. I cannot deal with this. So I thought for Valentine's day, he was going to get rid of it. I thought for my birthday, he was going to get rid of it. Mother's day. I was sure I was going to come downstairs and he was going to shave. And then all of a sudden on Sunday he did. So, um, I'm, I, 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 I couldn't be happier, honestly. <laughs> This is quarantine life, right? He had to oh wait God. for the right moment. It's the little things that make me so happy right now. Uh, is he doing anything that drives you crazy? My husband has turned into this loud talker. I'm like, well, you're yelling. We're all right here. Like, I don't understand it. He's, he's sneaking out. So our seven-year-old still comes in bed with us almost every night. And it's like torture. It's awful. It's, he's a huge kid who sleeps like a, he's like a drunk octopus searching for his keys. <laughs> and so every night he pretty much carries him back to his bed, but then he falls asleep in there. And it makes me so mad that like, I tell my son in the morning, I'm like, daddy is mine. I married him so I could sleep with him. Not so you could sleep with him. Like you'll have your own wife someday and you'll have your own bed, but you, you have to leave me. Daddy's mine. Like, this is not okay. <laughs> 
Oh, I love that. Uh, Sabrina, the teenage witch, tell me about the reunion and all for a great cause. All the fans are very excited about this. We're very excited. Um, this wonderful uh, program called Cast for Good has put us together and there's a bunch of us, not the entire cast, but a, a bunch of us are gonna get together, uh, like eight of us are gonna get together and do kind of a virtual, it's like a virtual uh, uh, panel as if we were at a Comic-Con. So you can um, go to castforgood.com and get the tickets and then you can upgrade to a VIP package, which gives you about a minute with whichever star you want, or if you want to do all of them, and you get about a minute to take a selfie, ask a question personally. But meanwhile, all the questions are being vetted right now. So people that are getting tickets can ask their questions now, and then we'll answer the questions later on on the air. And it's all for World Vision, which is one of my favorite charities. Um, I went on a trip with them last year to Zambia to see the work they do, and I, I, I couldn't say more about what they do, the programs that they've put in place, the the way that they've structured their program. So it's not just like giving them a well of water. It's, they have to be sanitary. Like they have to learn five stages of hygiene and 90% of the village has to have that hygiene in place in order to get a well. And then once the well's built, they have to have a plumber and they have to train someone to be a plumber and they have to have funds reserved for if the well breaks and what they do to, you know, so it really is like the most amazing um, program and they, and they do everything right now. They're doing COVID-19 work obviously in the U S and all around the world. And they, just helping like the most rural distant parts of the world as well as right here at home. I love that. And for the cast, have you all stayed in touch? Yes, we actually had a reunion for the first time. I finally put together a reunion back in February, right before all this went down, um, where people flew in from Canada and Texas and New York and everybody came just to be together in this little coffee shop that I took over for the night. And we have we acted like we were little children. We were bar hopping all night and we didn't <laughs> go to sleep. We had sleep over. Everybody came and crashed at my house. It's been awesome. We we get along even better now, I would say, as adults than we did because now we have so much more in common even. Yeah. Um, we have this history and we have these memories that we love to bring up, but we also have children and we have careers we're still trying to um, you know, grow in different ways. Like Elisa Donovan just came and shadowed me on the set. I was directing Young Sheldon and Elisa Donovan came and visited. She's like, I want to direct too. Let, let me see what you're doing and let me, you know. So it's really, it's been, and Beth Broderick and Jenna Lee Green and I just went to Liverpool literally the weekend before quarantine happened. We were in Liverpool signing autographs for the first time ever for our UK fans, which was amazing. We just, we just adore each other and it's gonna be so much fun on Thursday. By the way, great job, Helbig. We need more female directors and we're seeing this more and more, Melissa, with great females passing it on and showing the way. I love every time we have Shonda Rhimes, Shonda Rhimes on, she's always doing that with everybody, yeah, exactly like you are. Yeah. I love yeah, it. it's really great. And you know, it really is the time for women right now. There's initiatives put in place, luckily, that give us the opportunities. And then we have to hold on to those opportunities when we get them. And I've been really lucky uh, with the Goldbergs. I've been directing at the Goldbergs and schooled and now young Sheldon. And I've just been having a blast with it. And it, it, it just gives me such a sense of pride that maybe even more so than when I was acting. Like, I mean, I'm still acting, but like directing to me is being a storyteller and, you know, being at the helm of the ship and really getting to kind of orchestrate how that story's told. And I, I just, I love doing it. It's exhausting, but I love doing it. Um, for the reunion, will any Sabrina props be out? Did you take anything from back in the day? Like, what do we have? You know what I do have here? A witch's brew sign hanging above my kitchen that was from the, when we did the uh, Salem Witch Trials episode. Yes. So we'll have to pull that out. I don't really, everything else is like, probably in my basement in Connecticut, which I haven't been home in two years. But, um, I, I do have a lot of the props. I have a lot of the wardrobe. I stole a lot of it because it was going to be great Halloween costumes for the next 20 years. You have to wear one for the reunion. You got to get I all don't of it. Have any, I got to, oh, oh, I have a Sabrina bathrobe. I do have a Sabrina bathrobe here. I'm going to wear that. Good idea. Thank you. That's going to drive fans wild. You in the bathrobe. Is there like, one question that everybody wants to know? Like when you're in the UK, like what is, what is the big burning question? Well, right now the big question is, will you ever do a reboot? Which isn't up to us. They've already done the Netflix Chilling Adventures. Um, that's, but that's the biggest question everybody wants to ask. But it's, it's that ship has sailed, I think. Um, the other biggest question is, where's the cat? Or does the cat really talk? <laughs> A lot of people really want to know if the cat talks, which, you know, I hate to break it to people, but that's Hollywood magic. What? I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the cat's in a puppetry museum in Atlanta. Um, I heard it was at the Smithsonian at one point. I don't know if that's true, but that's pretty Go amazing. with that. That sounds fantastic. Let's just say that. Let's just yeah. say that. Put that in there. Um, are you directing a lot of your TikTok videos with the kids? These are so fun. I can't figure I can't figure out what I want to do with that. Like, I, I had this, Mario made me post this one of the daffodils. 
So I've only done like four. The first one, I tried to make it a horror movie of like my kid waking up. I opened the drapes, like the light came in. I zoomed in on him. I went back to the light. I went back to him. And then it did that run thing. And everyone thought it wasn't good because he didn't run. I was like, no, the idea is like, it's a horror. And he's like, someone's warning. I'm like, run, but he doesn't run. Um, And the daffodils, I told Mario, I was on the phone with him the other day. And I was like, do you think, I have this TikTok I want to post. I think it's funny. My son says absolutely not. And he's like, you better post it. But it's the daffodils in the wind doing this. And it looked yeah. like they were head banging. And I wanted them doing like, so I think I put Cypress Hill to it, you know, and I, I thought it was hilarious. But my son's like, oh, it's so stupid. Do you have to get uh, approval from them? Because I've got three teenagers. First of all, they don't even let me on TikTok. They're like, mom, you're not allowed on. And they're so critical of I all my social media, of everything. Do you have to like get their approval? Well, we were trying to do this one called the mom rap. We were trying to do it for Mother's Day, but we kept forgetting and I didn't learn the rap. And my son, so we finally just did it. I didn't realize you can only do 15 seconds or something. I haven't figured it all out, but I only could do 15 seconds of it. My part wasn't very good in the one I posted. I had done better takes before that, but his take was much better that one. So I went with his take um, as the director of me. That's so Uh, great. That's the director side right there. And the mom brain. But I can't, like, I have a few I want to do. Like, I really want to do a part of a song from Tribe Called Quest that I know really well, but I can't figure out how to find that piece of the song. Like, I don't know how to do this stuff. <laughs> I just figured out Instagram. Like, give me a break. You'll share it with me when you know. Um, Melissa, great talking to you. I love everything you got going on. I will see you in Tahoe. I'll see you in call. Tahoe on set. Yeah, it just congrats. <laughs> You're just awesome. You. I love watching you shine. Keep it going. Thank you. Girl. Thank you. you too. Okay. Bye, sweets. Bye.